Hi. Um, that's my new catchphrase, by the way. I've just decided every video from now on is going to start with hi, uncomfortable pause, breathy laugh, um. I think it's going to catch on. I think TikTok teens are going to start greeting each other at the skate park with hi, um. I could sell hi, um, merch. They'll even start a band of three hipster sisters called hi, um. I feel like 500,000 different things have happened in the world and in my life and on YouTube that I don't know how to talk about and I want to but you expect me to and that makes me scared and I just want to get in bed and go like this for so long that I start drooling which I do do, I did this morning, but like right now I'm gonna try to do this instead and maybe I'll drool anyway. And I know you want that. But at the same time, like most things in my life, I think I'm overthinking it. Like I think technically I could come back right now and do like a review of different popcorn brands and most people would be like, okay, yeah, whatever. Like missed ya, I agree, butter lovers is bae. Like it doesn't matter. But who knows, I go on a lot of tangents. Like maybe some tea will end up seeping out of my body. Like it's possible. I have a big, beautiful nose with many pores on it. These are all opportunities for chamomile peekaboos. I met Logan Paul, this is good, in an audition in 2015. He was leaving while I was walking in. He said, good luck, bro, and rode off on one of those like electric skateboard hoverboard things from back then. Uh, I didn't get the part. Logan Paul cursed my acting career. Part two, link in my bio, link to my crystals, buy some, protect yourself from the wrath of St. Paul. I don't know. I hope you watch this until the end, but also me saying that isn't going to change anything. Like how long is it? Like if it's four 45 minutes, I get it. I wouldn't even watch a 45 minute video about me, and I don't. By the way, some of the videos people make about me, I don't watch them, but the thumbnail for them, they literally try to make it look like true crime. I'm like, calm down. Like, I stopped posting vlogs. I didn't die in a fire. Like, why is my name written in blood on your thumbnail? Like, did I get kidnapped and forget? Like, why does that look like the poster for Gone Girl? Like, I'm good. I'm not, but like, I didn't get hit by a truck. I'm just like having a panic attack in my bed all day. Like. I was thinking about that the other day, like the guy who runs my specific YouTube algorithm must be like, am I even good at my job? Like I literally recommended a guy named Drew Monson, a video called The Drew Monson Story Part 1, and he didn't even like try it out. He clicked on the one next to it, which he's seen three times already called SNL moments that make me gag on the subway. Like should I quit? By the way, maybe this is petty, but are people joking when they tweet YouTubers like, are you dead? Oh my god, I'm worried you're dead, because a part of me this is so embarrassing to admit, but I'm kind of offended. I'm like, you don't think I would trend on Twitter for a minimum two hours if I died? Literally, Zac Efron was trending the other night on Twitter for like a long time. I looked, nothing had happened with Zac Efron. People were just remembering Zac Efron. They were just reminiscing on the fact that he's been in movies like, oh yeah, I liked that movie. Like, you don't think I could pique a similar interest in people for even a fraction of that time from people remembering that I used to be alive? Like, come on. By the way, uh, this is weird. I forgot to put something in the video, so now I'm saying it. It's later now. Turn the volume up. I have to be quiet because my wife is sleeping and my husband. So, by the way, yeah, this is what I look like in my jammies. No makeup. Don't leave hate. It's bad for my mental disorders. Honestly, I'll just send you my medical records and you can decide yourself if you want to roast me or not. I would suggest that you leave me alone. I'm feeling silly, clearly. It's 11 p.m. I've got the one hour to midnight giggles. Also, I just had oatmeal and carbs hype me up. Like, literally, white rice might as well be... C-O-K-E. Sorry, my wife is sleeping and my husband. I don't want them to. I just thought this was so funny, like along the lines of me leaving the internet and people having like theories about it. Some, I don't remember if it was like Twitter or a comment somewhere. I swear I saw somebody say, Drew's like, okay, I saw him at the aquarium. He works there now in the Stingray exhibit. The funniest part is like, I swear like a week or two later, I saw somebody else. And by the way, I acknowledge that I read too many comments about myself, especially at this time, being like, no, Drew's good. I heard he works at an aquarium, like referencing that as a source. And it's like, I just work at an aquarium now. I didn't have to apply, I don't have to clock in, I don't have to smell like fish, I just straight up work there. And by the way, is that an entire job? Like, do they really have just like one guy at the aquarium, like, handing Cheez-Its to the Stingrays, like, on a salary? And I'm so curious, like, did that person, like, make that up just for fun or, like, some other reason I don't understand? Which you'd think they'd come up with, like, a more interesting lie. Like, say that you saw me hurting something or, like, killing someone at the aquarium. Or don't say that, but, you know, like, I would 
don't say that. Or more likely did they just see a guy with glasses and long hair and kind of a beard and think it was me because we all look the same. Once again, check my medical records. But that happens. Sometimes I'll get somebody writing to me like, I met you at the movies today in Kentucky. I'm like, you didn't, but I hope he was nice. That's a lie. I don't think anyone's ever said I met you. I think they've just said like, I saw, were you, are you at a Home Depot in Florida? I'm like, no, and thank God. I wonder if anyone out there works at a Home Depot in Florida and just like their heart kind of sank or did they get like excited like he sees me. I would love if they had gone up to that guy in the aquarium though and been like, oh my God, I love your dollar store hauls. And he's like, I think you have me confused with another YouTuber. I'm Aquarium Boy 55, the tank lover. You may have seen my 19 things you wish you never knew about working in a nutty aquarium. Number one, the stingrays are rude. Well, I'm going to bed. Honey? Yes, dear? Honey? What's up? May I proceed to bed? Yes. I mean, I can't help but wonder, like, why are you here? Like, is it for tea? Is it for drama? Is it for commentary or cringe? Like, I feel like YouTube is so intensely dramatic right now. I don't know what to do because I don't do that. I don't want to talk about, like, cringy people on TikTok or whatever. That's so boring to me. I feel like people are so worried about external cringe. Look at the cringe within. Like, how about a commentary video on yourself? Like, honestly. The promise with my channel is that the only cringe you're ever going to see on here is cringe of my own creation. I own my cringe. I do not rely on the cringe of the outside world. By the way, does my, am I going crazy or does my voice sound a lot deeper than it used to? I've been having like throat issues, I think from anxiety. I went to the doctor. Do you ever go to the doctor and like you're in pain or something is seriously like so much happening and you go and they look at it and they're like, Everything looks perfect, and it's like, I'm gonna jump off the roof, what are you talking about? Literally the worst thing a doctor can say to you when you're feeling horrible is like, all your tests came out A-OK, -okay. like, I'm gonna slap someone, like, why? Stop doing the prank that you're doing. I need you to stop doing that prank. I got off the internet, like, completely in a public way. Like, I still look at everything, and I see people writing to me on Twitter and stuff, which is weird, because, like, when I, I was in, like, my worst moments, like my peak, like I get scared when it gets dark outside, the wind is literally making me scream. I would get a tweet being like, I hope at my toehold is doing amazing. And like, it's so sweet and I appreciate it. But in that moment, I would say literally out loud by myself, he's not, he's not. Like, if you only knew. Watching this back, that came off kind of rude. I don't know why I seem so flippant and, like, cocky in this video about people saying nice things to me and talking about me. I do appreciate a lot of it, just to be clear. Okay, call me back. Mm, bye. It's like when you're doing really badly and someone you haven't talked to in a while is like, hey, I hope you're doing, like, so, so good. And you're like, I, I love that you have hope. I want all of your hopes and dreams to come true. I don't know if I can give that to you. Like, should I lie? Should I say I got a new job and, like, I have a cat now? If you are curious, though, about, like this specific time of me leaving the internet, the main thing was I stopped taking my medication and I had been medicated like on some kind of psychiatric thing since I was 12 or 13. And I just got off last year, uh, cold turkey, like no doctor, no tapering down. Just to be clear, I'm not endorsing that decision. I'm not endorsing any decision. I've, I don't even know if I'm endorsing making a YouTube video. It was bad. Like, it still is bad, but I did get back on meds, like, a few weeks ago, and in thinking about it, I think that a big part of it was just this idea that I became obsessed with. I was numb. I've been on pills for so long, and I'm numbed out. I can't love people. I don't know how to feel, and I think a lot of that was based on, like, what some random bro said to me in high school when I told him I was on Prozac. Like, I don't even know if I really felt numb or I was just like flashing back to Jake in 11th grade being like, dude, like you're on that, like you're a zombie. Like that's like for, like you are a, and it's like, I'm not as, I literally just like danced. Like I just did a dance for the entire social studies class. You're telling me I'm a zombie? Like what? Yeah, maybe I am a zombie doing the freaking monster mash. Like, happy Halloween, Jake. Are you kidding? I'm still not feeling good. I just feel like I have a new brain. Does anyone else feel like... And it could just be me going, like, from age 24 to age 26. Like, things happen there that you don't expect. But I feel like I've gone from, like, Windows 7 to Windows 10. And I'm kind of like, I don't really like this new interface. Like, why did they make the start button gray? It's ugly now. I know some people are watching this like, Drew, you're being, like, poisoned. You're being chemically lobotomized by Big Pharma. And honestly... To that, I say, like, at this point, I'll take it. And by the way, I was thinking about this, like, what's wrong with a little bit of numbness? Like, don't I deserve that? Like, isn't that why people come home from work and drink red wine? Like, I know how to balance it out, too. 
You watch a documentary of people describing like really genuinely upsetting violence. Like, like a person that isn't completely connecting with the world around them plus a really long article on a school shooting equals like a standard brain. And that's fine. Like I'm familiar with that math equation. I think it's beautiful. Like I can totally do that. But yeah, I left the internet publicly. Like I didn't get a flip phone. I'm not a jerk. I just, honestly, I am so glad. Like people who have said like they miss my videos or I wish you were on the, like, I don't, and honestly, you don't either. Like, you don't want to have seen that content. It literally would just be me like, okay, all right, okay, it's happening. I think, I think I'm dying, but I'm gonna make this video anyway. Like, it wouldn't, I made so many bad decisions for myself and my life the past year and a half. The one thing I am so glad for is that I didn't like live tweet it. The problem with me specifically like leaving the internet is, I've talked about this before, but if I leave like Drew Monson is up for grabs. Like people can make their own Drew Monson story if I don't tell it. And a lot, if I was having like a full identity crisis, like I'm 25, now I'm 26, pandemic, and it was very strange to see people you like just what are you ta is that even me? Like I got to a point where I would people posted like my old videos and I literally was so like far removed from who I was currently and especially in the past and my brain and my memory is just so foggy. I was like, I don't even know if that's like I didn't believe that it was me. I was looking through my closet and like I found my 100,000 YouTube subscriber plaque that they send you and I was like, okay, there I get why else would I have this? Like it, I must be the guy in those videos, but I don't know. I don't know what people are talking about when they say that they like miss me. I'm like, I'm not even that anymore. So I don't know. It's like an ex being like, I miss you from high school. It's like, do you? Cause like, I'm not him. And honestly, I have had moments where maybe this isn't fair or rational, but I felt like, man, it sucks that like the last video that I made has like a fifth of the views that like the last video someone else made about me in this weird YouTube tea context. But at the same time, like, I get it. Like, if I'm being honest with myself, like, I would totally click on the dramatic video about me before the video from me, too. Like, if there was a YouTuber named, like, Brittany Byrne Turner, I hope there isn't, called, like, me making my favorite vegan chicken pasta, or a video from someone else about Brittany Byrne Turner called, like, why Brittany Byrne Turner ruined the internet and also fell off a bridge, I'd be like, I need to get some food and check that out. Like, I'm sorry, Brittany, like, your pasta sounds cool and I'm proud of you, but, like, it's not hitting the spot right now. I feel like, and I could be wrong, everyone right now is walking around with like a secret in their heart and the secret is like how bad they felt last year at a certain point or like still do. Or like not how bad, but like how weird. Like that got really scary there for a second in a way that I don't even know how to talk about. I don't even know if I could talk about. It would have to be like not even a song, but like a painting, but like an ugly painting, like one that I show to someone and they're like, what happened? Did you spill something? It just never feels like enough recently to be like, yeah, last year it's it was really hard. Cause they're like, yeah, totally, no, I know. And it's like, no, 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 please. Like seriously, like listen, like if you knew, like your jaw would be on the floor. Like you don't even get it. But like, they probably feel the exact same way. So what am I gonna complain to them? I don't know. I am realizing recently like that cliche thing of like, I, there is love out there available for me, but I really do have to have a good relationship with myself. And I hate to say it, but I have to love myself. Cause like there are other people around in the world, but you know, like you guys get what I'm talking about. Like you really only have you for sure. Like that's the one thing I can count on. And like, that is nice. Like I have to look at that positively. Cause like it'd be really special and like darkly funny to have a relationship with just yourself. Like, you know when you have one of those days and it's just like, oh my God, like this has to be a joke. Like how could 15 bad things happen to me and then I cut my finger? Like now I have a paper cut and I'm out of band-aids because I never remember to buy them and now I'm taping toilet paper to, like this is, this is funny, like good one. And you just look in the mirror and you're like, oh, like you know when you come home and you're just like, whew, just looking in the mirror like, all right, man, that was that. Wanna go to bed? Does anyone else have a relationship with yourself like that where sometimes you're like emotionally abusive to yourself and it's really horrible and other times it's like BFF, I love having sleepovers with you, inside jokes, like, oh my God, seriously, did, did you just do, you said you were gonna stop. You said you were gonna stop eating that and you just ate the biggest bowl. I, that is such a you thing. You just can't help yourself, can you? 
Because you know when you're like trying to connect with someone across from you and you're just like, I don't know how, like, I just want to shoot the entire movie of my life into your head. That's the only way you're going to get this if you receive all of my memories and you have what I have and then, then you can see. But it's like the person you're trying to turn them into is already you. Like, you already have someone right there with you who has the entire movie of your life in their head. It's you. Like, what a bond! What a place to start! Like, hey, you, this is you. You guys have had the exact same life. You have very similar vibes, or should I say, the same vibe in every way. Honestly, confession time, parentheses tea time, I sometimes feel resentful or annoyed or I kind of roll my eyes at people who love themselves because I hate myself at times so much. I think for that reason I'm afraid sometimes to start loving myself to avoid a similar wrath of people like me out there who are gonna be like shut up if I'm ever like I like my hair. It's still gonna happen, and I'm not gonna have a perfect relationship with myself, but I have to try and I have to make that the goal to love myself, like for survival. Like it's gotten to the point where it's that serious, it is that real, that like I will die if I don't at least make an attempt to love myself. Like I will one way or another eat myself alive. And I know that for a fact because that's what was happening. Like I was just at that point that I'm sure some people can relate to right now where I was like, Honestly, in the back of my mind, I hope one of these bad decisions I'm making with my body and my life and all the stress I'm under just takes me out. Like, and I don't have to make the decision in a car. I know that's like an intense thing to say, but the point I'm making is that I have to. I have to right now look at myself and say, I love you. I love you and try to mean it and not worry that someone out there on the other side of the country is rolling their eyes at me, or me probably editing this later is like, should I take that out? Oh my god, you sound so corny. Make a joke about your hairline. Say that you look gross. Say, like, I can't. I will die. <laughs> I know that is so intense, but I will die if I don't say, I love you. Leave me a comment, I am very lonely, my name is Drew. Leave me a comment, and leave yourself a comment too. My instinct is to say otherwise, but that was beautiful. No, it, I'm trying. Just, okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess bye. I made popcorn. Like, that's why I kept talking about it.